This summer, we developed a new fly pattern that has been doing very well for us in our home waters, the small creeks and streams of the piney woods of East Texas. This fly is called the grub stake, and it's intended to mimic common aquatic insects like dragonfly nymphs, stonefly nymphs, and damselfly nymphs. The spotted bass in the creeks of the piney woods eat a lot of bugs, and they seem particularly fond of this fly. The grub stake is a lot of fun to fish in the summertime, when all sorts of bugs are hatching and flitting around, above and below the surface of the water. It is particularly effective when fished as the subsurface dropper on a hopper dropper setup. In addition to spotted bass, this fly also gets wolfed down by the ubiquitous panfish that also reside in the local creeks. Long-eared sunfish, bluegill, green sunfish, and the occasional red-spotted sunfish have all been caught on this fly. Alright, without further ado, let's get started tying the grub stick. In the vise is a fire hole 839 size 12. I'm using Danville thread 70 denier. Start your thread and wrap it down the hook shank, past the bend. Now bring your thread back towards the eye. Tie in a pair of bead chain eyes, size medium. Now wrap the thread back to the hook point. Now tie in a couple of inches of green vinyl ribbing. This ribbing is from Hairline and it is their small nymph size ribbing. Cut a section of Blaine Chocolate's Silly Skin in the color Seafoam Green. You want it to be about half a centimeter wide. Peel back the sheath of the silly skin. Make sure that the sticky side is facing up. Tie in the end and make a couple of extra thread wraps to secure the skin. Wrap the thread firmly, but don't pull too hard. You don't want to cut the silly skin with the thread. Now we're gonna tie in some Wooly Bugger Antron Chenille size small. This color is light gray, but you can use whatever color you like. Advance the thread to just beyond the hook point. Now wrap the chenille forwards. This will create the bulk of the abdomen. You can make a couple of extra wraps to give the illusion of a juicy fat abdomen, but don't go too crazy. You don't want to crowd the hook point. Secure the chenille with some thread wraps. Remove the sheath of the silly skin and begin wrapping it forwards. You'll want to play with this a little. The tighter you pull the silly skin, the more translucent it will become, which allows more flash to come through from the chenille. But in doing this, you lose some of the bulk because you compress the chenille underneath. Experiment with it a little and find out what you like. Tie down the silly skin with some thread wraps. Make one complete wrap around the hook shank with the vinyl ribbing. This will prevent the silly skin from sliding down the hook bend. Now wrap the ribbing over the silly skin creating evenly spaced segments. Tie down the ribbing with some thread wraps. Whip finish to keep everything in place. Coat the abdomen with UV resin. This will keep the silly skin intact after this fly gets chomped on by all sorts of fish. Hit it with your UV light Make sure you give the resin time to set up.
Now, we're going to tie in a soft hackle feather. I'm using a partridge feather, but any similar feather will do. Pull off any down at the base and tie the feather in by the tip. Wrap the feather around the hook shank. Tie it down with a thread. Cut a section of Semper Flea's Dirty Bug Yarn. You want the yarn to be fairly long, 5 to 6 inches. I'm using the color Grey Caddis. Prior to tying in the yarn, rough it up a bit with a dubbing brush or you can use a bore cleaning brush. Of course, you don't have to use Dirty Bug Yarn. You can substitute any of your favorite dubbing materials for the thorax and the head. Take a single strand of Silly Legs. Cut it in half then cut it in half again. Tie in each pair of legs with several thread wraps. Pull the legs back and advance your thread forward to the eye of the hook. This next part can be a little tricky. Take the dirty bug yarn and make one full wrap behind the legs to give the illusion of a transition to the thorax of the fly. Now you will need to wrap the yarn around the legs which can sometimes mess up their orientation. Take your time and mess around with the legs to get them in the position you want. Honestly, I don't really think the fish care what the legs look like, but it does make the fly look better to us anglers. Once you have wrapped the yarn through the legs, make several cross wraps over the dumbbell eyes. This gives the head some bulk and fills the void between the eyes. Bring the yarn forward in front of the eyes and tie it down with a thread. Trim the excess and whip finish. Secure the thread with UV resin and torch it. If you want to make the head of the fly even buggier, use your bore brush or dubbing brush and give it a once over. Alright, there you go. The grub steak is complete. If you'd like to learn more about blue lining in East Texas, go to flyfishingthesame.com. We also have some original fly patterns for sale, as well as the guidebook for fly fishing in Sam Houston National Forest. A second book is in the works, Fly Fishing Houston and Southeastern Texas. This book is slated to come out early 2023 through Imberfex Books. Thanks for watching.